What we are dealing with here is an eating machine. Out of the water now! Now! Jaws is the story of a peaceful, profitable, seaside resort town that gets haunted and terrorized by a giant 26-foot shark. Now, if you believe that, you're going to need a bigger boat. In June 1975, just when America thought it was safe to go into the water, Steven Spielberg unleashed a monster hit. The first film to break $100 million, Jaws not only devoured all competition at the box office, but kept people out of the water and in the theater. It just skyrocketed around the planet. Everybody wanted to see this movie, and it was the kind of movie that people went back two, three, four times to see. But when Peter Benchley's bestseller first surfaced on theater screens, no one expected it to be such a success, least of all, the people who made it. I, I was introduced to Stephen. He was talking to another writer. And as I was approaching them, they were talking about this giant shark that comes up out of the water and smashes and destroys a boat. And I remember thinking, these guys are crazy. Even director Steven Spielberg had his doubts and feared the film might sink his career. After all, Jaws was only his second feature. He'd barely convinced the studio to shoot on location in Martha's Vineyard, had bribed the locals, hired a reluctant cast, and still had a bigger problem. I'll always remember Mr. Spielberg sitting on the camera barge, way down in a seat like this, waiting for the damn shark to work, and waiting, and waiting, and waiting, and waiting. Ironically, it's the waiting that keeps audiences on the edge of their seats, anxious to catch a glimpse of the man-eater. But the great white shark eludes the camera until well into the movie, lurking below the lens in one of the most frightening build-ups in history. There is the universal fear of water, whether it's uh, in a sink or in a pond or in a river or in the toilet or no matter where it is, anything that has water in it that you can't see into is frightening. You know the thing about a shark, he doesn't seem to be living until he bites you. Nonetheless, Jaws could not get Oscar's attention for best picture. Instead, one flew over the cuckoo's nest took home the prize statuette. Jaws, however, did leave a lasting impression. It won three other Academy Awards, redefined the Hollywood disaster film, and to this day, makes people everywhere think twice before going into the water. I swim in the ocean, but I don't go out very far. I have very good respect for the water. And since making this film, I swim looking around a lot. Hear more from Roy Scheider throughout the film. And now, Jaws, one of the new classics on TNT.